Hello students, today we are here to solve the exercise of lesson number 6 of standard 6. The name of the lesson is Substances in Daily Use. The lesson is in syllabus of Maharashtra board and myself Mrs. Prachi Surudikar will explain you the answers of the questions that are asked in the exercise of lesson number 6. Before that, if you have not watched the previous videos in which I have explained all the answers of the exercise, please do watch it and don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. Let us start with the exercise of lesson number 6. Question number 1 is fill in the blanks using proper words. First fill in the blank is rubber made by vulcanization is a man-made material here the answer is man-made material because though rubber is obtained naturally from the plant there has to be the process of vulcanization it is the process of hardening of the rubber and that is carried by the humans so we can say that it is the man-made material second is man-made materials are made by processing natural materials so always whatever the natural source natural material is obtained that has undergone various chemical reactions or various chemical processes and then only the man-made material is produced H hence we can say that the main man-made material is always made by processing of natural materials third is nylon thread was developed simultaneously in new york and london so this thread is first created in new york and london hence the initial of the new york n y is taken and the initial of the london l o n is taken and that is why it becomes n y l o n that is nylon the thread which is discovered in new york and london the next is rayon he is also known as synthetic silk because rayon thread is very glossy and shiny just like a silk which is obtained from the nature and that is why it is called as the synthetic silk as it is produced by the humans or the man question number two is answer the following questions first question is why did the need of man-made materials arise so while writing the answers always remember that you have to write the answer in a point wise format that will fetch good marks also in the exam so first point is it is the human nature to strive for newer things and to try to make life more comfortable human is always in search of the newer things we are always eager to discover something to invent something and that is why human always take efforts to find out the newer things to search out the newer things and always the main aim of human life is to get more and more comfort so we are always searching for a comfort also second is as a result of his efforts man began to process the natural substances to make new substance for example rubber which is obtained from the natural plant but we are processing it so that we will get the hard rubber and we can use it in the tires we can use it in the erasers so as a result we are always processing the natural substances to make the new substance third is such substances are easier to use and can be made available in plenty at a low cost because as it is a man-made substance we can produce it in large amount hence the availability is possible and the cost is also less so increasing population deforestation and limited natural resources are some of the reason due to which the need for man-made materials arise and therefore for the reason of availability and comfort these substances came to be used on large scale so due to various such, such reasons the natural substances are available in only limited format and hence the man-made material is used in a more amount and that is the need of use of man-made material second is which are the natural materials obtained from plants and animals 
so here the natural materials which is obtained from the plants we can write jute cotton wood all these are the natural materials which are obtained from the plants the natural materials which are obtained from the animals are leather wool we are using the sweater shawls blankets that are made, that are made up of wool so they are obtained from the animals so in this way these are some natural materials which are obtained from the plant and animal source third is what is vulcanization the answer is first in the process of vulcanization rubber is heated with sulfur sulfur for 3 to 4 hours so at a high temperature sulfur is added in the rubber and 3 to 4 hours that heat is given to the rubber second is to give hardness to the rubber sulfur is mixed in it so why this sulfur process is been done to give the hardness to the rubber and that is why for hardness of the rubber the sulfur is mixed in it the proportion of sulfur in the mixture is determined the per by for the purpose for which the rubber will be used and this process is called as the vulcanization so in short the mixing of sulfur with the natural substance and heating it for 3 to 4 hours is the process of vulcanization and it is used for the hardening of the rubber students note down these answers in your notebook you can pause the video also and write the answers the next is which natural materials are used to obtain fibers so cotton jute and wood is used to obtain fibers because wood is the material from which many synthetic threads are been prepared so wood is also the natural material which we are using to create the threads or fibers question number 3 is what are we used for so here various substances are given to you and you have to write the use of that substance first is soil it is used in construction pottery and farming so construction pottery means to make the various matkas and decorative items and in the farming the soil is at most important because all the crops yield in crop uh, soil only second is wood it is used for making furnitures as a source of fuel it is also used utensils hand tools musical instruments wooden toys fibers and threads are also made from the wood the next is nylon nylon is used to manufacture the cloths fishing nets ropes etc second is next is paper paper we know the uses of paper you can write the other uses also which are not mentioned over here that is also welcome so paper is used in making bags envelopes notebooks and packaging purpose also these papers are used then rubber rubber is used in balloons erasers rubber toys rubber balls rubber bands even the tires of the vehicles are also made up of rubber question number 4 is how is paper manufactured write in your own words so you have to write that how the paper on which you are writing is created or is made so the first is coniferous trees like pine are used to make the paper so coniferous trees are the trees who are in the cone shape so such trees the wood of that trees is used to make the paper second the bark of the logs of these trees is first removed and the wood is broken into the small pieces so first these trees are cut their barks are removed they are cut into the smaller pieces then the mixture of these pieces and some chemicals is kept soaking for a long time it helps to form the pulp of the wood and when the chemical process is completed the fibrous substance from the wood pulp are separated and some dyes are added so after adding the chemicals when wood pulp is formed there is formation of the fiber like or a thread like structure and that fiber like substance is removed it is dyed dye means to give the color so it is dyes are added and the pulp is then passed through the rollers dried to form paper and finally wound on the rills so in this way the papers are produced in the factories 
now question number 5 is give scientific reason first question is we must use cotton clothes in summer students always keep in mind whenever you are writing the answers of scientific reasons you have to write that sentence again and then you have to write because in front of that so we will write that sentence again that is we must use cotton clothes in summer because dash the first point will be cotton clothes protect us from the heat of the sun so whatever the heat is from the sun that is uh, prevented from the cotton clothes cotton clothes absorb sweat and help to keep our bodies cool so whatever sweat is coming that is absorbed by this cotton clothes the pores in cotton clothes allow the free movement of the air which helps to cool our bodies hence we have to use the cotton clothes in summer the second scientific reason is we must observe economy in the use of materials so the answer over here is we must observe economy in the use of materials because first they directly or indirectly affect our environment most of the natural materials which we obtain from our environment are exhaustible or non renewable resources so once these resources are finished they cannot be renewed again also destroying the forest for our needs affect the habitat of several other species of organisms and plants the man made materials which we use are largely non biodegradable such as plastic so increased use of man made materials pose a threat to the environment because their disposal is not easy and it leads to the environment pollution so hence before using any material we have to think that whether that material is eco friendly or not whether it is affecting the environment or not and hence we have to consider the economy the next is saving paper is the need of the hour the answer saving paper is the need of the hour because we know that to make the paper wood pulp is required now this wood from where this wood comes it comes by by the cutting of the trees so deforestation is occurring and this deforestation affect the wildlife whatever the animals which living over there in the forest they get affected due to the deforestation it causes soil erosion it affects water cycle then oxygen cycle because the plants are emitting the oxygen so amount of the oxygen also get reduced and many other environmental problems are created due to the deforestation hence if we save the pages if we save the paper there will be less need to cut the trees and hence it is the need of our to save the paper next is man made materials have more demand man made materials have more demand because first they cost less second is they are strong and durable they can be used for a long time they are comfortable they are attractive and they are easily available and that is why always man made materials are preferred or they are in more demand next scientific reason is humus is natural material humus is natural material because first point of the answer will be its formation is a natural process humus is a dark colored layer of top soil that is rich in nutrients so whatever the dead material is there that get decomposed by the decomposer bacteria in the environment and these decomposers convert dead plants and animals into the humus which is utilized by the plants so here the decomposer bacteria are natural the dead bodies are also natural and hence all this process is the natural process and humus therefore is a natural material it increases the fertility of the soil question number 6 is find out first question is how is lack obtained from the nature so basically lack is a thread or fiber like material lack is a natural resin of animal origin it is secreted by an insect known as lac insect there are so many types of the insects out of that one of the type is lac insect which is secreting this type of the lac so in order to obtain that lac these insects are cultured and the technique is called as the lac culture it involves proper care of the host plants collection and processing of lac so lac secretion 
begins as soon as the larva of the insect settles on the plant initially lac has a shining appearance but later on it turns harder on coming in contact with the air the lac is then collected and used for making jewelry etc so lac is very glossy and it is used to make the jewelry which is prepared by the lac insects so that is secreted the secretions of the lac insect get hardened when it comes into the contact with the air and hence the lac is produced the next is how are the pearls obtained pearl is a precious jewelry that we all know but this is obtained by the living animals they are formed when a microscopic foreign objects find its way inside a mussel or oyster oyster or mussel is a aquatic animal which is present in the seas so whenever any foreign bodies or a sand enters in that um, oyster or a mussel the pearls are formed the animal coats the object with a substance called nacre with time several layers of nacre build up over the foreign material thus leading to the formation of the pearl these oysters or mussels are collected from the sea and open to collect these pearls so in this way the pearls are obtained from the sea animal that is oyster and hence it is obtained from the seas so in this way we have covered the exercise of lesson number 6 to watch the answers of exercise of lesson number 7 we will meet in our next video thank you thanks for watching